Hey guys, are you facing the same issue WP login at PHP or WP admin is not working, both the page is not working or you are unable to open your complete website, you tried changing this go uh, this URL and the your website may got break. So I'll be discussing both the things in this tutorial. You have to log into a cPanel. I have already logged in. I'm using HostGator cPanel. Doesn't matter which cPanel you are using. You have to scroll down. I need to search for the file manager. Open a new tab, and there you scroll down. You have to open PHP My Admin. And next, inside File Manager, you have to understand two things: like you are working on the primary domain or secondary domain. That primary domain, whatever the first domain you install, will be inside the public underscore HTML, and the domain which you install after installing the first domain will be outside the public underscore HTML, like evidmedicare.com. Inside this, gomahamaya.com is there. That is my own personal domain I'll be working on the uh, main domain gomahamaya.com so I'll open this this problem you get because of some plugins and that plugins you need to disable or delete that plugins so go back and there inside that you find WP content and there you find plugins open that double click on the right this area and that will get open and next you can see all the plugins that you install on your wordpress website i got that issue because of wps hide login so i'll click on this and i'll say i'll say delete when you confirm this that plugin will get deleted and now go back and refresh the page you can be able to log in uh, both the uh, URL are working at WP admin as well as WP login at PHP. In case if it's still if you have issue, I'll, I'll tell you another way. You have opened this PHP my admin. You need to click on this area. There are four data, three database are there. So you need to check which database belongs to your website. I have installed three domains in my cPanel. So I'll click on the first domain and I'll click on the WP options. And there you need to check these two values should be same. If in case is there any mistake or these two value is not working. In that case, this website will not get open. So click on edit and check the URL whether it's this is similar to this URL and once you are done click on go if you still have issue please comment below I'll help you you don't have to break your head